In today's video we're going to complete a flux cord T fillet in the PA down hand position and the PB horizontal vertical welding position. We're going to be using DWA50 flux cord wire 1.2 millimeters using 21 volts and 6 meters per minute wire speed. So we're using a drag angle because this is flux cord we're trying to keep the slag at the back of the pool. This is going to minimize the risk of slag traps and also of lack of fusion which are common welding defects in flux cord art welding. So as we make our way to the end of this run we've got to de-slag it and what we should see is a nice flat consistent profile. So now we've completed that run in the PA position, we're actually going to do it in the PB position now. So on this run we have to drop our angle down, so about 45 degrees, we're still going to drag across, keeping that slag at the back of the pool. We're aiming that wire right in the corner of that joint because we're trying to get penetration through the plate and also fusion in the sides of the plate. The difference between flux core and solid MIG wire is that flux core solidifies a lot quicker than standard MIG wire, making it ideal for multi-positional welding. Even though this produces a slag like stick welding, we still use a gas which is 75-25 argon CO2 mix. You can get some flux core wires that are self shielding and you don't need gas. However the wire we're using today requires gas. So we're at the end of that run now, we're going to do the same de-slag and have a look at the finished result. In our previous video it got a lot of people talking. We compared pushing flux core to pulling flux core. That video is on screen now.